And the big secret is... Get ready for the Paranoia! Today I'm going to expose the greatest secret of the beast from the pit, from the book of Revelation, Apollyon, the destroyer. I'm on the island of Cyprus. This is where Pergamos is, the real Pergamos, not the one in northern Turkey. This is Pergamos. This is the throne of Satan and it's down there. This island was invaded in 1974 by the Turkish army. Since then, it's been fractured into pieces. Down here is administrated by the United Nations. Over there, it's administrated by the British and further on by the Greeks and Pergamos by the Turks. Many areas in this island have been cut off so you can't go to them. Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. On this island is Pergamos. And this is where Antipas was martyred. Revelation 2.13 I know where you live, where Satan has his throne, yet you remain true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, not even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Pergamos is over there. And the church of Antipas is in the northern part of Cyprus. I did try and get there, but I was detained by the Turkish authorities for seven and a half hours. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. There are some among you who hold to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to entice the Israelites to sin, so that they ate food sacrificed to idols and committed sexual immorality. Likewise, you also have those who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans. in the form of various parts of the human body, eye, breast, ear, arm and male genitals. Also on this island are the bones of Lazarus and his tomb. I'm in um, Old Town Larnaca here and behind me is the church of Saint Lazarus. Lazarus is the man who Jesus Christ uh, resurrected from the dead whom he called out, come out Lazarus, and uh, he came out alive, he's dead, Jesus Christ brought him back to life. And uh, this, uh, this uh, church here allegedly holds the bones, the actual bones of, uh, of Lazarus. Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside, and then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of those people standing here, so that they would believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a headcloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. The Baths of Aphrodite. The 
sanctuary of Aphrodite. the Rock of Aphrodite. This is the Rock of Aphrodite. This is uh, where Aphrodite is alleged to have risen from the sea. sanctuary of Apollo, Apollyon. Also here is Mount Olympus. Yes, there's a Mount Olympus in Greece, but you can go to Mount Olympus in Greece. Mount Olympus in Cyprus is a British army base and it is cut off to all public access. It's a military area. If they decide to come over and question you, they'll go through the whole car. Do you understand? It actually says there stop, no motorcycles and no cars. Can you see that sign there? You see it? And we went past that. We weren't even supposed to go past that. See? Then, then stop, no cars, no motorcycles.
So that's Mount Olympus now. Which is blocked off by the English. By the British government. for some very strange reason. We're not allowed up to the top, that's all there is to it. Something to hide, obviously. The devil has many names. He's called Zeus, Neptune, Hades, Poseidon. And Apollyon, his son, has many names. And Aphrodite, like Apollyon, has many names. And one of her names is Britannia, Britannia, the Great. So Great Britain is also named as an island of Aphrodite, an island of Venus, and it is known as the Angel Isle. What's Aphrodite got to do with the Greek police? What's give me something for YouTube. Police? Come on, give me something for YouTube. Aphrodite's rock is in Cyprus. Yeah, so Aphrodite's rock is in Cyprus. Yeah. So what's that got to do it's a with... staff association, isn't it? An, so asso it's an association, isn't that a Masonic um, organisation? Yeah. <laughs> The Greek Staff Association, and also in Cyprus, there's a lot of Greeks who live in Cyprus, speak Greek, but part of the same community. So it's just a symbolic Aphrodite's rock, and does it look, does it look, look, look nice? Yeah, but like Aphrodite's like a female, isn't it? You know? Isn't it? Is it? Yeah, but like Aphrodite's like a female, isn't it? You know? Isn't it? Is it? I'm inside the um, British Museum and uh, behind me is uh, Aphrodite. However, Aphrodite is not a female. And the big secret is that Alexander the Great, who is Apollyon the Destroyer, and Aphrodite are the same person. The beast from the pit from the book of Revelation is a hermaphrodite, and so are all the giants, which is why all their bones keep being disappeared by the authorities. 
And as Jesus Christ said, nothing is hidden that shall remain hidden, and nothing is concealed that shall not be made known and spread abroad. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim this. Apollyon the Destroyer and Aphrodite are the same person. The beast from the pit from the book of Revelation is a hermaphrodite. This bridge in Berlin gives away Alexander the Great's secret. All these statues here show Alexander the Great in both his male and his female role as a hermaphrodite. I don't know if this is deliberate, but he's sat here and he has no penis. And this other statue of sat here, it's the same. Sylvanus has no penis either.
Get ready for a new paranoia. Jesus Christ is coming for you. You are all gonna be destroyed. Coming for you. You are all gonna be destroyed. The fire will make you blaze. These are the end, end, end days. The fire will make you blaze. These are the end, end, end.